Blau just might be the strongest archetype for Nova Grappler right now in this game. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing well as always. And for today, we will be taking a look at the final deck you can build in set 14, which is Nova Grappler. I do feel like Blau have the potential to be tier 1, if not high tier 2, as it can do what other Nova Grappler decks are supposed to, which is closing the game from 3 to prevent limit break, but better. This deck can make a total of 8 attacks in a turn and goes as high as 30k power in a single column. This deck is also good in rank as it's what I've been using in this season. I do think this deck is definitely worth building but before you decide that for yourself, first let's take a look at the deck list. Okay, so here's the list. It's a pretty simple one if you ask me but after playing a bunch of games with this deck, I actually came up with a better list but for the gameplay, this will be the deck list I am using. Galaxy Blau Kruger will be your MVP for this deck. So the skill is a limit break for once per turn, when this unit attack, it get 5000 power and the following ability. When this unit attack hit a vanguard, you can count plus 2, discard 2 cards from your hand and stand all of your unit in the center column and draw 2 cards. And the last one is your Stunblau Cougar Cross Ride. Of course this skill is great and all but with the help of Mount Blau Cougar which is your break ride, you can actually pull off a deadly combo. As the skill is, once you break ride, you get plus 10,000 power and the following ability until the end of the turn which is when this unit attack count plus 1 to stand all of your rear guards. So imagine you break right your Galaxy Blau Cougar over this card, and since Blau Cougar can stand once, that means you can attack it twice. That means you can use the break right ability twice as well. So this combo will allow you to make 8 attacks, but do keep in mind you will need a total of 4 count blasts for this to work. Since this deck allows you to keep standing your rear guard, of course you will need cards that benefit from standing, which is why we run 4 Yamatamo Drake and for Dancing Wolf. And since this deck requires a lot of counter blasts, that is why we also run some counter charge. We have 1 for the Great 3, 1 for the Great 2, and 4 for the Great 1. This deck also have another MVP which is your starter. To me this starter might be the best in this game but that's just my opinion. When this unit boosts a Blau Vanguard, and it hits your opponent vanguard, you can count plus 1 and look at the top 3 card of your deck and add a blau card to your hand. And of course, your PG is blau, that means you can add a PG for just one counter blast if it's on the top 3 cards. And that is also why we have multiple blau cards like the Tanke Vanilla and Mars. We also run 4 of the Chop Care Tackle, but I do think running 4 Golden Angler is a better option. Lastly, we run an on play Soul Blast to draw a card, but the AK Vanilla might be better as it can make a perfect 26 column pairing with Yamatabu Drake after standing twice. I guess this pretty much sums up for the deck list. The game plan for this deck is to set up a 1 turn kill from 3 damage. So, cards you need in your hand to make it happen is Dancing Wolf, Yamatabu Drake, Golden Anglet, of course, your finger need to be the Break Right and Unique Galaxy Blau Cougar as well. Another thing to keep in mind is try not to put your opponent to 5 damage as your Galaxy Blau need to hit the Vanguard for this combo. I will have a total of 3 games in this video. First game will be against Link Joker followed by Aqua Force and Neo Nectar. I will have the timestamp in each game in the description below for you to choose which one to watch but I do highly recommend watching all 3. Is Blau really that good of a deck like I say? Let's find out. Okay, so the first match will be against Link Joker which can be considered as a bad matchup but if you know how to play against it, it's actually a pretty decent or even better matchup than most other decks because against a deck that can burn your rearguard, that's where this deck kind of struggle because you can't really call your Dancing Wolf as a booster. Since it is a key piece, you need to do a one turn kill combo. So what you want in the starting hand is pretty simple, a great one, a great two, and your break right, and your Galaxy Blau Cougar. So sadly this hand, I'm just missing my break right, but I do have my starter skill to try to search it, so hopefully we can get it. And also you want to go first as well because you know against Link Joker they might run Morpheus Breath Dragon and if they go first they are going to write their great 2 first meaning they are going to lock your starter and hence you can't use your starter ability. So here it's good that my opponent check a draw trigger because once you go for the 3 to 6 damage combo you do not want your opponent to check any trigger there. So good thing that he checked his trigger early game because that's what I want to see. So here I'm just not going to call anything else because I'm going to take the safer approach since if I attack with my rear guard and he get a defensive trigger and I did not get any trigger, my that means I can use my starter ability. 
So here, can we get a break, right? We did get it, so good for us. So now our hand is looking pretty full. I think we have 8 cut, yep. So a draw trigger will make us all draw, so let's hope we don't check it. Okay, another draw, that's fine. That is fine, because... Once we are doing our combo, if my opponent don't have any grade 2, not don't have any grade 2, if they only have one grade 2, they will need 5 PG to survive. Even if they have 2, they will need 4 PG. So, don't really care if they check all their draw trigger in the early stages. So here, I do want to try to put some cut on the field, but I'm just going to take it slow since I am going to put him to 3, and then once I'm at 4, that's where I will go for the kill. So there's no rush right now. And do keep in mind, you don't want to overuse your starter ability since it requires 1 count plus and your combo need 4 count on blast. So, do keep in mind. So here he did have his break right, which doesn't really matter because I feel like Chaos Breaker Dragon is a better card against my deck since it can lock without limit break. And here he's taking the slow approach as well, so just one attack, that's fine. And Yamatamo Drake, that is really good because with the pairing of Dancing Move, if you stand twice on those columns, it's going to be a perfect 31k column. So here, doing the same thing again, taking it really slow. Because if my opponent is going to put me to 4, and we have 4 damage. So even though if we only have 3 open counter, that is why we run counter charge to unflip a damage. So we have 4 perfect counter to use. Okay, so here he passed. That's interesting. So I think he knows he's gonna die if he give me 4 damage. That's pretty smart of him, but... Since he passed, I actually might do the same thing. Although I might overcost something, because... We might top deck a Dancing move, which increase our odds of closing the game in one turn. So I did not, but I did decide to pass, so no surprise there. So here we're just gonna play the passing game until he give in because I am not gonna give in since if your Link Joker start to lock you, that is where you kind of struggle. Although if you have one open caller, I think it's still fine. It really depends how many PG they have. So here, I guess they did decide to push for some damage, which is fine with me. Two wait two, that is fine as well. And he check a draw, that's good. So hopefully he sneaks two damage check, is no trigger, and we check heal. That is a bummer. Because once you go for the combo, you want to be at 5 damage, so they don't check any 5th damage shield. So here he still decides to give me 4 damage, that's pretty interesting to see. And we top that another Yamatamo Drake, that is really good. So now, we are going to go for the heal. And against Link Joker, it's either you kill them on this turn, on your combo turn, or you are dead, it's that simple. So I'm just going to go all in. going to call my Great One Booster and 2 Yamatamo Drake. And here you see I did do a misplay because of a bad habit of mine because I don't really boost if the power or if it's not necessary. But hopefully we don't get punished. Okay, we did get, we did get a trigger so that's good. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it to the right side, yes. Okay, no trigger, that's good to see. So now we are going to stand using our Galaxy Blau Kruger skill. And that is a really cool animation, of course. And we didn't draw any trigger, so that is good. So now, hopefully he don't get a trigger again. Okay, perfect, perfect. So now he'll need a total of 4 PG to survive, and since he did the damage check 1, he is screwed unless he check a 6 damage shield. Okay, a heal, we can't heal, let's find the power is still appreciated. Okay, an RPG, sure, do you have another one? Because if you don't, you will need 2 6 damage shield, and he don't, so let's see. And that is not a huge trigger, that means game 1 go to us. So a pretty simple and easy win in my book, so this is most of the time how you are going to be winning, especially against limit break decks that you do not want to give them limit break. And I guess this concludes game 1, so now let's take a look at game 2. Okay, so second game will be against Aqua Force, which is a pretty okay matchup, since they can't really retire a Rhaegar unless they are male strong, which is very unlikely. So that's a pretty bad starting hand, 
We're just gonna keep a 1 and a 2 and throw the rest back. And we did not get our break right again, so sadly. But hopefully we can get it using our starter ability. And we did go first, and even though we have 2 huge in our hand, it's still okay since they are kind of your finisher card or your combo pieces. But of course they are not necessary, it's just good to have. And of course don't keep that in your starting hand, since they are heal trigger. Okay, so we are just gonna write our 10k vanilla and just attack like this. And let's hope we can get a break right. And then he reap a heal, so that's pretty good to see as well. And we did get our break right, so that is good. Even without the break right, you can still win the game with the help of your mask, Blau Kugel. So here he have Valeria, which he can potentially retire my starter, but he can't since he can't make 4 attacks. Okay, so against Aqua Force, we might be able to push him to 4. It really depends, because if you open this at 4, obviously you will have a higher odds of closing the game if you do the combo. So here, I feel like I should call one rear guard down, because my center column is perfect 19k column. And here, are we going to use our starter skill? It really depends. Okay, we just check 2 PG. I feel like we shouldn't. But I have no PG in my hand as well, so this is a really tough decision. Of course, if you have counter charge in my hand, I will just use it, but since I don't, that is why I decide not to. And of course, since I decide not to, that means I'm probably not going to push him to 4 damage. Especially since my hand have the perfect combo, which is 2 Yama Tamu Drake and 2 Dancing Wolf. That is 2 31k column, that's insane. Even 2 trigger can't save him. Okay, a draw here that's good as well since our hand is running pretty low. And here, I feel like a swing... Nah, I feel like calling a great 2 might be safer. Although the greedy approach would be just attacking using my Vanguard to his rear guard. And I guess that's what I'm gonna do. And we check a heal, which is alright, I guess. Because if we don't check a heal there, we don't have PG, that means if he can push 3 damage, we are dead. So that heal might be pretty crucial. Okay, so pretty similar situation as the first game. We are just trying to prevent each other from using the limit break. So still no PG, I would love to see a PG so that I feel much safer, but I guess it's fine. So here is tough. I'm just gonna call a great tool at the back row, pretty interesting. I still feel like this is a really risky approach. Especially I have no PG. All trees in my deck. And if he actually keep track of my twin drive or drive check, he should know I have no PG in my hand since I did twin drive too. Okay, so here he did decide to rush me down. So hopefully we can get some damage trigger, otherwise we might be dead right here. And we did get it, so that's pretty good, and this trigger is huge. Although I feel like he did misplay his Basil, since his right column is just 15k. Yeah, he, def he definitely did some misplay, that's for sure. So here, same strategy. Break right using our Galaxy Blau Cougar and try to close the game up from here, and since he only has 3 cards in his hand, I highly doubt he have more than 2 PG. So here I'm just trying to fish for a PG, but I did not get it, doesn't really matter. Although I should already know that I have no more PG in my top stack. So here we go, can he survive this deadly combo? I highly doubt so, unless you check a heal. Okay, a draw here, that's pretty good, that means even damage trigger can't save him. 
Okay, he did check a heal. Luckily, he can't heal. So, that is a close one. But sadly, our left column can't attack. No, it can attack. It can still attack. So here he need to get a trigger to prevent my right column from attacking him. And he did not. So I'm pretty sure we are going to win the game here. Because again, he will need to drop 4 PG to survive. Like the first game. Okay, wow. Double draw trigger, that's too much. That is overkill. Jesus. And I guess that's game. And this kind of concludes game 2. Pretty similar as game 1, so there's really not much of a difference. So now let's take a look at game 3. Okay, so the last game will be against New Nectar. And if I remember correctly, this is not the latest New Nectar deck right now. Because when I am recording this video, the clan event is not out yet. So there's a pretty solid hand again, we're just missing our Galaxy Blau Cougar, which is fine because we have time to search for it. The break rock is the most important piece you need. Okay, we did get a PG dose, so that's pretty good. And try not to write your dancing move because that is super important. Okay, so he did decide to go for the Great Tree Searcher instead. So he probably have a really bad Great Tree in his hand. And he did not get the ideal Great Tree, I assume. So here he chose to be a little bit more aggressive, which is fine, I guess, since we do want to hit 4 damage before my opponent does. And we did not get any trigger, that's fine. And we top deck another PG, that means we have two PG, so we are feeling really safe right now at the moment. And here I feel like I should just call my Dancing Wolf down in case I get a draw, since I am going to use my starter ability. Oh, that heal is really good for him. I guess it's pretty fair we both heal a damage. So no complaints there. And we did not find our Galaxy Blau Cougar, which is fine, you know, break right your Mao Blau Cougar over itself is not a bad option as well. Especially against New Nectar, since they have multiple great tools on their front row. Since they can keep spawning and superior call from their deck. So it's kind of like Go Paladin, if you ask me. And sadly, his finger is not a Musketeer, otherwise, his left column will be perfect numbers. Okay, that trigger is huge, otherwise we are going to fall, which is pretty quick. Because you obviously don't want to go to 4 damage so quickly, since your opponent is only at 1 damage. So here we are just going to write our break right and just call a bunch of great tools and push back some damage. Okay, still no sign of Galaxy Blau Cougar. Hopefully, you can get it now. Okay, I did not use my starter ability, which is weird. I should use it, in my opinion, but I guess for some reason I decided not to. I feel like the only time you should stop using your starter is either you have not enough counter charge in your hand, or when you got everything you need in your hand. And I guess this is going to be a pretty long game because he checked a heal and I checked a heal. So there's no much progress in this turn. And he's back to 1 damage. That's not good. But at least we have a lot of great tools to protect ourselves.
Okay, we did draw Galaxy Battle Kruger, so we might not use the starter ability. But I have a Clay Dawn mechanic in my hand, so I feel like it's fine to use it, honestly. But you also need to look at your deck. Do you have more Great Tools and Great One Blau than your trigger? If you don't, I guess not using it is a better option as well, because you do not want to get triggers using your starter skill. Okay, that's not looking too good. 5 to 2 damage, that is a little bit too much, but pretty sure we can survive because of our PG and our Great Tool. And here I can choose the Break Right, but I feel like Break Riking using our Mao Blau Cougar is a better option since Galaxy Blau Cougar does a better job at 3. Of course, you can close game at 2 damage, but it really depends what your opponent get for their damage trigger. If they don't get anything in their 3 checks, then I feel like there's a really good chance to close the game up. But if they do get at least 1, that's where you kind of struggle. And since I know I'm going to survive for another turn, I should try to put my opponent to 4 damage and then break right using our Galaxy Blau and try to close the game from there. So here you can, you can see I decide to hold off and not place my counter charge because I want to have enough counter blast to do my combo which is for counter blast. And it's also not a greedy approach as well because since I'm going to push a lot of damage, there's a good chance to check a trigger. And if you check a trigger, our left or right column might be dead. So there's really no point calling so many boosters or all of our resources into our hand because we might even use it to discard when we use our Galaxy Blau skill. So here you see, push him to 4, not 5. Do remember that. I guess putting your opponent to 5 is fine as well if you are not going to use your Galaxy Blau Cougar anymore. So it really depends. So at this point, since he's at 4, doesn't really matter if he have 2 or 1 great tools because my first 2 attack are going to be my rear guards to their rear guards. But the self damager is huge because he can check a heal now. And I do not want that to happen. And if you notice, we don't have a lot of pieces in our hand. We only have 1 dancing move on our board and nothing else. But since it's at 4, there's still a really good chance to finish the game off here. So let's try to go for it. Okay, so if we check a draw, we might still survive if somehow he survived too. But if the next check is not a trigger, there's a really good chance we just win the game here. Since we need 4 PG, which we know they don't have it in their hand right now. And we did not check a trigger, that is big yikes. Okay, good, he did not check a trigger, so we are safe. Sadly, I had to drop my PG, but it doesn't really matter because I know I'm gonna win here. 2 trigger, bad timing, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, that's 1. Let's see, how many more do you have? Okay, that's the second one. But I have two more attacks, that means he will need a total of 5 PG to survive. And that's not gonna happen. So let's hope we don't 6 damage you because we can't beat that. And I guess that is game, and this concludes the whole Blau Zai Guy video. So, same as always, do make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts about Blau or Nova Grappler right now in general and yeah this should be it thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video good bye